Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Everett, and welcome back to my Marvel Heroes 2015 Superhero Story Mode Let's Play. Uh, if you remember last time, we finished up the original storyline for Marvel Heroes by defeating Doctor Doom. Uh, but shortly after, uh, our celebration was cut short because Dum Dum Dugan sent S.H.I.E.L.D. a distress signal from Norway about... Uh, Frost Giants attacking, so we're going to go down there and help him, so Land let's head to Norway. We have teams of agents scouted around through the zone. Each team was en route to our forward outpost to fortify it. Locate them before they are overrun. Alright, so now we have Frost Giants and I think Hydra attacking. On my toggles here. Looks like it's being overrun here. Oh, well, there's a giant just going crazy. Ooh, look at this. Remy's Dijon Mustel. Put you in this two pot for your own good. Boom. You must fall. Just murdering us, some giant. But better if they'll love that. Oh, yeah. Behold my power. Here we go. I gotta kill six more. Where are you going? Go back and take care of him in a second. Put a dot on him. Zap him here. Where are your gods now? Put these things up in the vortex. Kill that guy. That guy. One more. This madness at once. Kill this guy, he's pretty low. Boom. Keep fighting, elite frost giants are inbound. So now we got blue ones, we gotta kill ten of these. Oh, we got some yellow ones too. Oof. It's gonna be a little bit tougher. Not a problem. He murders everything. Please forgive me. Man. Don't have the cosmic. Take all the poles of Jotunheim. I do this out of Jotunheim. Because they're healing. I got another mustard. Get that mustard. I'm gonna pick up my mustard. these two and then I'm done. Boom. Well done. That looks like that'll be the last of them. Thanks for your help. Grab this. If I could stop casting. There we go. Grab this mustard here. Oh, now we got Hydra attacking. Are you kidding me? There we go. Thanks again for your efforts. Couldn't have held this outpost without you. Alright, so that was a little side quest. Let's fly towards our objective here. I think Reed Richards is the one that uh, helped us open the portal to Asgard. So let's keep on going. It's quite a big zone. There's quite a few events here, and I think uh, there's even a world boss or two. Sound the battle cry. But let's go talk to Reed. There he is. Okay, so I guess that was just showing us the uh, opening of the portal of Asgard. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, there was a huge event going on uh, a few months ago. Or not, yeah, I guess it was maybe half a year ago now, but uh, 
we where the whole server had to get together and donate items to try and open this portal just the typical you know MMO style uh, opening a portal event basically so let's see why oh there we go I was on the wrong action bar there's one more little side quest here that I'm just gonna look for real quick here we go just to show you guys a little bit more of the Norway storyline. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to clean out this area before I can talk to this guy or else I'm going to get on. While reading what he's got to say. Let's get out Bill here to protect us. Bill? I guess I clicked it and then someone attacked me so it went away um, basically let's see. doesn't say a single thing here here we go Enter the dark forest now frosty reception well oh, no well we lost that part of the story thanks to some dark elves they're telling me the GPS locator just teleported about 20 clicks out of the main party in a blink of an eye. Not sure where that rift took you. Something I can't... I don't get why they put paragraphs in those things that are too hard or that Death take too to long Asgard. to read before it disappears. I, to see this world destroyed like so many I, mean, I don't read like that slow, but I mean, my quest. should at least get, make it so that you can have enough time to read. I'm sure there's kids and stuff that like to read magic that don't read half as fast as I do yeah we're not really sure why we're in here now because of uh, bad quest boxes but I'm pretty sure we're in here to save a shield agent it says rescue the shield agents so here's the forward scout and now we've got scourge worm here destroy. He's dead. That was pretty easy. Don't fade a bill. I'm destroying this ambush here. The dark guys. There we go. They're still coming. There we go. So, Dark Elves set up a trap for you to deal with but when you got deeper into the Dark Forest. Well, it looks like you made it out in one piece. I can't thank you enough for bringing back my surviving agent, maybe? Looks like he said guest, but... Uh. Alright, so now we are actually going to go through the portal to Asper. So this looks kind of... Um, destroy all these guys. We will fight another resist day. a giant pack of mobs just standing there. A bunch of frost elementals here. Alright, so let's go in here before we get owned. Oh, looks like uh, Heimdall's you in trouble. Are welcome here. Thank you for my... You have my thanks for arriving to support the battle. Please use this in the fight. Your efforts to breach the shield over Midgard were well met. Any attempt from here to send the Bifrost for your support was a folly. A treacherous plague has been unleashed upon the city of Asgard. Whatever power lies there has sapped me of all strength and heralds a cold beyond cold. Rarely have the for forces of the Dark Elves and the Frost Giants combined for such devastating purpose. The unified assault is surely a dark omen pointing to a larger and more dangerous foe. Tread carefully, hero. Three notoriously brutal dark elves have been summoned have been summoning their frost giant allies into battle. You must find them and stop them or all hope is lost. Alright, so he gave us a uh, PowerPoint that we're going to put in our signature here to use in this battle. So I'm going to do that. Put them to the blade. 
And these giants actually hurt way more in here than they do outside, so I'm actually going to have to kill some of these guys. This isn't a big dungeon. So it's not going to take me too long to give it a good clear. Boom. Oh, a little over on. Keep our AoEs up here. Got Coldbane here. Kurt Coldbane. Get a little closer to me here. Be gone from my sight. There we go. So yeah, like I said in the last episode, they added this uh, right when uh, Thor, the Dark World, was coming out to correspond with the film, and they're planning on uh, doing that with a lot of, with probably all of the Marvel movies, not the Fox or Sony movies, of course, but uh, I'm guessing they have a big event to go along with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. They didn't do a big event for Captain America Winter Soldier, but they did add the costume that he wears in that movie to the now game, which is a fantastic looking costume. So yeah, this was pretty cool because because it was fun to to get to fight dark elves and stuff even before the the film came out. Behold my power! And I never really read much Thor, so it was cool to kind of get a little bit of backstory here. All right, so we took out one of the dark elf lieutenants. Grab this health pot here. Here comes another one. Just bolt on the wicked. Just take him out. There we go. And let's head and try and find the last one. Actually, ooh, ooh, oh, I'm about to die. Please forgive me. Our magic is undone. Oh, there's a health pot in there. Got it. Nice. You have been rendered inert. Whew. Didn't realize that Bill was uh, out of action here. Let's save this chick for some XP. There we go. We got Bill back. Let's take out these giants here before they cause any more trouble. You should not have come here. The These enemies are actually yellow, so they're a little bit tougher. Which means the boss is going to be quite a pain. We're not doing too bad. Let's go here and fight Bulverker, the Raider. Alright, so we got all of them done. Now we need to go find the boss. That's leading these uh, guys. Now shall curse have his revenge. All right, so this is Curse. He was in uh, Thor: The Dark World. He, uh, I think, Malekith stabs him with some dagger that Beyond transforms him into Curse, if I remember correctly. Um, he's actually a pretty tough boss, especially if you fight him in the hardest, the absolute hardest difficulty. Okay. Let's try not to die before we get him at least a half health. Oh, we did die. Shoot. The power cosmic must have a target. Otherwise, disaster is bound to strike. Others gonna be tougher than I was expecting. I have seen enough. Get out of there before he punches me in the face. Without Bill, there's not a whole lot of chances to get this beam going. Let's try and just dodge him. Get these up. It is a miracle you still stand. I'm in trouble taking out all of his assistants here. There we go. Let's do a good old, good long channel on him while he was charging that punch up. 
hopefully it'll take that punch. Getting him down, let's see. Might be able to get Bill out before we finish him. Behold my power. Not if he kills us. Charging up a punch. Try and channel him down. We've almost got it. Ooh, we got him. That's the last second. Nice. Alright, so we took out Curse and stopped the Dark Elf raid on Asgard. Let's talk to Lady Sif here. Behold, a hero has arrived. Thus, how restored safely in our glorious city, we are truly in your debt, hero. The Dark Elves and Frost Giants brought the frosts of Jotunheim in a nefarious attempt to consume the city. You have valiantly defeated them and ensured that Curse may no longer terrorize the peace we seek. Many will come now and restore beauty again to these sacred halls. Alright, so let's head into Odin's palace itself. Well, it looks like uh, well met, hero. the bridge is, the rainbow bridge is fully functional again. The powers of the, uh, well, looks like I'm not loading in the uh, palace completely yet. You do get to see a little bit of the uh, background art, which is beautiful. There we go. So let's head to uh, our quest marker here, and we will talk to Fandral. You have traveled to our realm during a time of great strife, hero of Midgard. Cosmic portals have been opened and are allowing combined armies of Dark Elves, Rock Trolls, and, and in the Cronin into the city. It will not happen again. There must be a very powerful dark force at the hand of the, that would conspire to join these forces into a unified assault. From what we have learned, the Rock Trolls are fighting to rebuild a powerful transportation device known as the Frost Grinder. Whatever forces drive their assault has promised them the means to re its reconstruction if they wipe clean the Asgardian realm of its people. Should they re regain the Frost Grinder, they sh would have the ability to travel anywhere they please and cause devastation. The Cronin are a fiercely militaristic race and they rarely b leave their home planet of Rhea. They appear to have brought, been brought here against their will through through the cosmic portals and now seem to be searching for a way home. They will go through any means or any Asgardian to reach that goal. We have already dealt with a large force of Dark Elves and the strongest of their kin, Curse. Now, though the real battle has begun, their forces lay waste to the city in countless droves and there have been reports that their Dark Master Malekith is preparing his personal assault. Malekith searches for the Aether a source of tremendous energy that he intends to use to blot out all light in our universe. Drive these fiends from our lands, hero, and the Nine Realms may yet be saved. Alright, so now you have the uh, main bad guy from Thor the Dark World attacking Asgard. Greetings, hero. I wish, you could speak, I wish we could speak during fairer times. As it is, however, we have a plan to push back against the onslaught. Onslaught. With enough spirits, you will be able to use the Asgardian Chest of Fortunes. Collect Spirit of Humor and of from Midgard and Spirit of Aldi here in Lower Asgard and bring them back to Odin's Palace. Alright, that's no problem. I've got a ton of those in my uh, stash. Cease this madness at once. Let's uh, head up and try and defeat Malekith. We can. First, we're going to have to defeat waves and waves of trolls and elves. And he's actually a world boss. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to take him by myself, but we're going to try. As you can see, Captain Sumac here is just. He's got the health and stamina and power of a world boss, but he's just sitting here summoning. Tons of elves and giants. Let's grab this health orb. I do this out of compassion. 
Here's what we're building here. Here we go. My powers are failing. Oh. Way too much going on. I almost lost sight of where I went. As you can see, there's tons of those spirits of Vivaldi that that guy was wanting me to connect, collect. So that's not going to be a problem. Oh man, he's going to take this. No more. Be gone from my sight. Start taking out Captain Sumac here. If we can. Got him almost a half. Use the health pot. Beta Ray Bill, so now we have to deal with them ourselves. And luckily, we've got him about to half. Usually, there's other people running around doing these quests as well. Hopefully, someone else will come and join us before we get the Malachi. We don't. We're not gonna have Beta Ray Bill with us for a little while longer. Kill these frost giants. Almost got Captain Sumac down. Heimdall is asking for help. And another part as well, so there's quite a bit going on here in Lower Asgard. So if you can imagine, whenever the Dark Elves were attacking Asgard and Thor and Loki escaped, this is kind of what was going on. Although, if Silver Surfer had been there, the movie might have ended a little bit differently. Dark Elf Captain eyes. Sumac has fallen. Malachus' other captains must be farther in. Alright, so let's collect these for the quest. Storm flew by, but she didn't stop to uh, help us with this next Death captain, so... God. see what we can do. We can get it going a little bit faster here. Now we gotta kill some rock trolls Malachi, and some elves. Cease this madness Captain once. Torog. Get some AoEs going. Please forgive me. There we go. Just gonna take care of some of rock trolls. Bind their souls. A bit tougher. Summoning non stop. I'm going to use that storm right now. So annoying. Alright, looks like. Like we're getting close. He's summoning beetle hordes, which are crazy annoying. Especially when I'm trying to target him with my beam and I'm just hitting beetles. Alright, now we can get Bader and Bill out here at least. To distract him while I burn him down here. Could it be destiny? Was this mine to have all along? Right, come on, Bill. There we go. Take care of these beetles for me. I do this to protect the innocent. Shit, man. We've got a Wolverine coming. Hopefully he's gonna come help me here. Nope. Of course not. Nope. Oh, yeah, he is. Coming in on his motorcycle. He's got Spider-Man tagging along with him, so... Hopefully that'll make this go a little bit faster. Behold my power. Him down. Getting a little bit faster now that we have Wolverine here. We'll use this Black Panther's help as well. It looks like he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. 
And we have Black Panther as well. So by the time we get to Malika, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to lag for a little bit because there's way too many guys up here. These are the Cronin, the ones that Fandral was telling us that they're very militaristic and they don't really even want to be here, but they're sort of trying to find a way home. They're giant rock, rock guys. You didn't, didn't really see them in the film, but they needed a bunch of Thor, Thor villains. Yes, look at that health go down now that we have Black Panther and Wolverine here. Okay. Melting in. They both, they just redid uh, Black Panther and Wolverine's powers. And they're both pretty incredible now. Malekith and his personal bodyguard are now up at the top of this platform, according to Heimdall. Here he is. Let's defeat the man himself. Shouldn't be too bad. He summons tons of little abs like all of his captains, so we're gonna have to deal with them. That's a lot of Argentina dropping here. Let's see if I can do this without dying. First of all. The other two guys still with me? It looks like maybe they died. I think they did. Now there's Black Panther still here. There's Wolverine. Right, Wolverine came back. Oh, I just died too, so. But I got back. Let's do temporal recall. I'm taking out these trolls. These things are so annoying. Luckily, after you beat enough of these pads, they kind of stop coming so often. But what? Power Cosmic must have a target. Otherwise, disaster is bound to strike. There we go. Now that there's less ads, we can kind of focus on Malekith. Right when I say that, they all just appear again. Let's get B back out here. Malekith is just under half health, so we're doing good. Kind of dealing with all these ads since he's got just slightly better AoE than the other two guys here. They're focusing on Malachi for me. And the bit of a bill are going to take out this troll. Alright, getting there. Let's see if we can drip. Burn him down real quick. Looks like Wolverine is out of commission again. But he'll be coming, coming back. There's another Silver Surfer. Almost got him. Come on, guys. He's just charging around everywhere. Charging straight at me. There we go. Let's drop some AoE here where he's planning on landing. Take him out. Almost got him. There we go. So Malekith, Malekith would rather flee like a coward than stand and die in battle. Very well. Follow him through to the can canals of Asgard. Alright, so we didn't actually defeat him. We just uh, 
beat him down to the point of where he ran away. Malekith has escaped and seeks the seeks the Aether located in the Asgardian water, waterways. Quickly track him down and stop him before he can get the Aether. Drown right, so that's what we're going to do. Sigvat Hellstrom's not going to be stopping me. Let's see if we can find Malekith here real quick before he gets the Aether. Looks like it might have been back that way. Like I said, I can't resist giant groups of bad guys. Such easy XP. All this gold, too. Alright, so it's not here. Do some flying here. Or not. Still gotta go up steps, even though we're flying. Alright, so it looks like I'm stuck. Come on. There we go. Time for some dark magic. So we found where Malekith is. I do this out of compassion. I'm gonna destroy these dark elves in front of the door though, so that if I die, they won't be there. Well at least now we know where it is. So I can just zip there real quick. Or not quick. Here we go, you can kind of see the boss arena there. Are you kidding me? I have to go all the way around. Jeez. Them in darkness. Come on. Jinxed myself by saying that we get there quick. Alright. Didn't get there, I promise. I know I'm leaving tons of XP and, and stuff, but I just, I'd rather beat Malekith down. No more. Finish this fool off. There we go. Let's call Beta Ray Bill before we go in there. Beta Ray, what enemies do we face today? All right. So now Malekith has the Aether. One, allow me to bring it to you. I'm actually going to use my ultimate power now. Ooh. Try and take him down. He's pretty much got the same power set as he did when we just fought him a minute ago. This time he's summoning Brood instead of Beetles. And he teleports. Now our ultimate is worn off because my cosmic power has gone down, but we've got him to about a third of his health already, so looking good. They have broken through our defenses! Bill is still up. I have seen enough. Just chopping away at his health here. Malekith commands your doom. It is a miracle you still stand. Malekith commands my doom, he command it to my face. Oh, he almost did. For your own good, you must fall. Pound them till the ends of time. Yeah. Almost got him. We're trying to get him alone here. Disaster is bound to strike. There we go. I think he's alone. I feel the power cosmic leaving my body. Oh, crap. Destroy the humans. Just keep doing AOE, I guess. It's hard to get a good focus on him. Boom. Wow, oh, these guys are just so freaking annoying. God. Alright, let's finish him. There we go. Level 59 and beat him. Beat him to the ground. Let's talk to Malekith. This beautiful must not fall into the wrong hands. Here to gloat, hero. It does not matter now. You see, Loki has played us all the fool. While we waged war for the power of the Aether, he set his sight on the throne. The only chance the Dark Elves had to access the city was through the power of the cube, wielded now by Loki. 
I believe once I had the Aether, nothing would stop me from blotting out all light in the realms and bringing, out the, bringing about the true nature of the universe, darkness. You may have defeated me, foolish hero, but you will never best Loki as long as he has the cube. Go now and face your demise. All right, so we'll see about that. We're going to fight Loki once and for all. Let's talk to Volstag here. The treachery of Loki has finally been uncovered. His dark plot brought me the enemies of the armies of Dark Elves, Rock Trolls, and Cronin against the peaceful realms of Asgard. Through the power of the Cosmic Cube, he was able to fool everybody and create powerful portals that bypassed our defenses. Please, Hero, we beseech you to confront Loki inside Odin's throne room and recover the Cosmic Cube. May Ein Heryar have already attempted to best him in battle, but he is too powerful. No prob. Let's go in here. Summon out B. Put some points in our powers here so that we uh, can survive this. And let's go face Loki. Beta Ray Bill is at your service. <laughs> Oppose Loki and fall before him. Yeah, we'll see about that. So Loki is actually on a whole other level of tough than Doom. He, uh, of course summons clones. This version has the affix of Marvelous and Poison Cloud. But, uh... He's incredibly tough. I, I don't have a good record of fighting Loki without dying. So there may as well might may as well say right now that it's not gonna be pretty, I'm sure. Let's get out of that ice trap though. I do this out of compassion. Getting him down. I need to get out of that ice of that poison cloud. Not doing too bad, but this is the easy part. Can save the vortex for when he summons ads. He's already sight. taken out Be Beta Ray Bill, so that's. Let's get out of that. Got him to about half health now. There we go, now it's. Try and suck all of his plums up and take them all out at once. I have seen enough. And you can actually play as Loki in this game and fight Loki as Loki, so it's kind of interesting. If I can kill just a few more of his clones, I can actually get Beta Ray Bill back out. It is a miracle you still stand. So every time I defeat an enemy, it takes about a second off of his respawn time. Almost got him back out. Maybe my ultimate power will be back up by the time I get to the hard part. Here we go, let's get Beta Ray Bill back out here. Sadly, Beta Ray Bill is just chopping away at that freaking ice cube. Get out of that circle. We've almost got phase one complete. Not doing horrible. Almost got him. Of course he summons, summons his clones right before I beat him. Not to fear, we got him. Take that last clone out and finish him off. But 
My plan was perfect. This is Loki's age. I am power. Alright, so this is the incredibly hard form. Oh great, and he's gonna summon sentinels. Fantastic. Right now, um you pretty much you have to stay inside the inner circle here. Or else you take a lot of damage. And he's got a giant missile reflection system that on the outside that is hard to penetrate. And he summons a ton of that. Tons. So I don't guess Bill's going to be with us much this fight just because... Oh god. Oh, I died. Luckily I've got temporal recall. Let's see if we can burn him down just a little bit. Nope. No more. See if I stand in that bigger part of the circle, it might take a ton of damage. This is just, compared to Doom, this is just ridiculous. I mean, I'm glad that it's difficult because it keeps the game fun and interesting. Not just a cakewalk like most games are nowadays. Probably should use that vortex on Loki himself. We shall return stronger. All right, let's try and burn him down just for a second. Well, before we die. All right, let's get Bill back out. Well, let's try number two. Do I have my toggles? No, I do not have my toggles up. There we go. Could have been why I died because I didn't have my defense toggle up. trying to fight off the ads a little bit while I am low on HP. And then once I get high enough in HP, I kind of can zip to Loki. And see, now this is a problem because I have to be in this green circle or else I'll get hit pretty hard. There we go. So I had a perfect chance there to hit to, dis to do some pretty heavy damage, but it didn't go very well. Get out of there. Just keep doing my AoE dots. There we go, doing some pretty decent damage there. Ooh, giants kicking my ass. Alright, we need to kick a breather here. Zip in, do a dot. Luckily, like I said in a previous video, it doesn't seem like Missile Reflection affects Silver Surfer much. Got him to a little bit under half HP. He's got me way under half HP. Zip in, do a dot, get out of there. I do this out of compassion. I'm to stand on the very edge of this. I don't even think I'm in it. I can't tell. Either way, it's not good. Alright, now we can do a pretty decent vortex. I don't think we're gonna last. Ooh. I must have got a, a red red bubble in there somewhere. I thought I was dead. No more. I'm sure there's smarter ways to fight Loki, but I just I just take it slow and steady. Loki's word will soon. All right, try number three. I think we might have him this time. Luckily all the stuff unspawns here, and I'm going to use my ultimate to burn him down. 
I have seen enough. Keep burning, keep burning, keep burning. Keep him, keep him going, Bill. I don't know why I just interrupted that. Just gonna keep him going, cause right now I'm got unlimited health and cosmic. Oh crap! Not anymore. Get back in there. I know I'm standing in the red trap. Almost got him though. You must Almost got him. Almost got him. Oh my god. Nope, I gotta get out. I think I'm gonna get him right here. Oh no, he got me right as he was about to die. Alright, so what is this? Number four? Got you right now. Boom. It's a tough fight. Drop the medallion and some mustard. Alright, so let's finish this. Traitorous Loki. Were you not the son of Odin, I would slay you myself. Lady Sith, I bring news most dire. Speak, Heimdall. What danger have you seen? Muspelheim, Lady Sith. The fire demons are assembled. Even now, they ready their army to attack a weakened Asgard. Impossible! The fire demons are chaotic and disorganized. Did we forget to pay attention to the one enemy who would see us all burn? Serta. While we were distracted here, Serta reforged the mighty Twilight Sword. Demons of the flame, our time has come! Sound the battle cry that all who live may hear it and despair! Serta means to begin Ragnarok. Now. Our defenses are crippled. Our warriors exhausted. How can Asgard stand against the Lord of Muspelheim and his army? Perhaps I can be of service. Haven't you done enough? If you don't want Serta to come to Asgard, then you best bring the battle to him. You can't use Bifrost, he'd simply walk across it into the city. But someone still holds just enough cosmic power to open portals between the Nine Worlds. Oh yes, that's me. Now you would help Asgard after trying to conquer it? I merely wanted the throne. Serta wants to end the world. Note the subtle difference there. Serta thinks us weak and ripe for defeat. Perhaps these heroes will help us show him that Asgard and Midgard are not so easily defeated. Serta is nothing compared to Galactus. <laughs> By Odin's beard, you have defeated the Sly One. Loki will think twice. I think the next time he elevates himself beyond his station. His dark plot to gain the throne of Odin and take control of the Nine Realms has been thwarted by all of Asgard's is in your debt. By the blessings of Valhalla, I grant you this reward for your mighty efforts. Thank you. And that's pretty much it. I've got a few more little side quests to turn in that uh, don't really add much to the story. Um... The whole part with Muspelheim and Surtur is the Marvel Heroes raid that uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to record and show you guys. But uh, that might not be too soon. Hopefully within a month I will have that started at least. So uh, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you guys next time. The worst fate of all is to be forever alone.